Hey, Deb's here from I'll Be Creative. A bit of a windy day today. It's actually very warm, it's beautiful. So if I'm wobbling around, it's because of the gazebo. It's blowing everything around. So um, what I'm here to do today, it's Earth Day today. Um, it's Earth Day every day, but today we celebrate the fact that we need to look after our Earth, do things to, to help it along. Um, and I want to talk about um, some art that really grabbed me from years ago. Probably the mid 1990s, I was listening to Radio 4 and um, I heard this woman talk and um, she just blew me away. Her name is Jill Hayes, it is Jill Hayes. And what she did, she uh, wanted to help uh, some African, South African villagers uh, work themselves out of poverty. She thought, well, how could they do this? Because there was no money, you know, poverty. Um, how is she going to help them? There's no good just giving them money. To, you know, she wanted to give them some skills. So basically what she did, she thought and thought, and um, thought, well, what, what resource is readily available? And the thing that she came up with was tea bags, which I think was absolutely genius. And um, anyway, you, you need to go and have a look on the original tea bag. Uh, project and it will blow you away what they've done you know because from the, those early years they've created some amazing um, artworks craft works um, they've, you know they've raised a lot of money they've women have been able to uh, craft themselves out of poverty they've bought houses they've paid for the children to go to school it, it just so heartwarming I absolutely love it so that's where the inspiration from this came about now I really because I can't do my um, face to face workshops at the moment which I'm really missing all my students and if any of you watching hi <laughs> and I'll see you when uh, all this lockdown's over but I wanted to show you how to do something that A, if you've never done anything before, it doesn't matter because you're not going to waste a load of money. Uh, and B, if if you really are on lockdown, you can't get out and you've got to use what's in the house. Well, you know, most people have tea bags. So go and grab a brew, whether it's tea or coffee, and then let's have a bit of fun. Okay, first of all, um, I've got some tea bags here. Uh, I am driving my poor husband mad because it's like, don't throw that away, leave that tea bag alone, don't throw that half baked cup of tea away. Honestly, I'm driving him around the twist. Uh, but I've got some tea bags here. Um, I've got some that I've prepared earlier. Um, let's have a look. These are pyramid ones. When I first got those, I thought, oh no, those aren't going to work, but actually they're okay. Um, we've got some of the envelope ones with little tags these are great i really like those and the round ones i wasn't too sure about the round ones at first but they're absolutely fine uh this is the this piece of tea bag paper that's been um unfolded from this but i'll show you that first of all what you can do now i'm going to do a pdf and you'll be able to download it so you can follow that um, I'm trying to think where I'm going to put that. Um, if you just go onto my Facebook page or my uh, website, I'll put it on there. You can just download it. Okay, so these are dried out. Um, what I like about these particular bags, and do you know what? Avoid the one through the staples if you can. Uh, oops, B. That, that's the danger of this, isn't it? Bees always go for my ears. I don't know what it is. I think it's because they, they just do it out of spite of it. So you need to get that lift. I'm just going to tear this because it's taking too long. Oops. You need to remove the little tag. Now, do you know, I will be doing something with those at some point. So don't throw them away. Uh, it's cotton and it's card, so you can compost it. So open up the tea bag and then here's one I prepared earlier. Just empty it into there. Now, you find you can um, do these when they're dry. If you're really going to go into this, you're going to get because you can get hooked because there's something about making time more interesting. It's that mindfulness, and and if you get into this, well, honestly, you really could do. When you brew your cup of tea, put your tea bag in. Don't put sugar or milk or lemon in or anything at that point. Just brew your tea, take your bag out, squeeze it, put it in a jar, keep that in the fridge until you've got a few, and then you can do a batch at a time. Um, and you'll find it's easier just to get the tea off. And also less water, you know, I mean, I started off rinsing these, emptying them out and rinsing them under the tap. But what you actually find is you're using, wasting a lot of resources with the running water. So let them dry first and then take them out. And I actually, you won't see this on the video, but there's some lovely patterns there that you can use to, to feed your artwork. So I'll pop that under there. 
if you want to you can iron them but i think life's too short for ironing but that's just my uh my just take on things uh so let's get this pyramid one open so some of this is ripped already so and you can use the rips as part of um the design you know it doesn't matter anybody that's been to any of my courses will soon tell you i'm not into perfection <laughs> it's just as well really isn't it so just follow the seams and you personally i find the tears create really interesting shapes now when i used to design cards for magazines it was in, it was in the 80s early 90s um where tearing was all the rage and you know it's like you're working with children it's great because you can't tear can they so like keep away or is it just me keep away from that wallpaper um but if you tearing's great you know paper and tearing up the sound of it it's lovely and that's if you if you're in a care home and you're working with, somebody with, somebody with dementia these things are great because um it's it's sounds it's it's non-threatening sounds and it's you can get them to tear a piece of paper as well you can hold it with them obviously you know with the lockdown and it's it's going to be tricky but if you you know you're going to have carers that are going to have to, to work with older people um but a few moments a day to do something creative is going to be you know do the world of good for their mental health as well so these torn edges i think they're quite pretty you can do lots with those i know there are a lot of people out there that are going this woman needs locking up because she's working with tea bags and i just stick those in the bin i don't throw anything away terrible like i say i drive my poor hubby to distraction so opening these up it's quite satisfying you know getting this tea out of it i could go on and on you know you've got you've got your herbal teas you could separate all your teas out and you can do different colors different patterns this is just an introduction if you really want to get into it you know i can do i can talk for England so you know we can do that another day but today this is just an intro so that you see how easy was that and actually that's really therapeutic it's just so calming so mindful just to sit down and empty a tea bag into you know a, a plastic tub that's been safe from going to the tip now I'm using I'm not using any paints so we are going to do some painting I'm not using any paints because basically what I want to do um, is use things that you might have you might not have paints in now you know, I'm doing this from beautiful Port Erin um, and the Isle of Man, and we've got um, the uh, Erin news agent. I think they're still delivering, so you can get things delivered locally. Use your local businesses. You know, really help them keep afloat. Um, if you're really struggling, you can use flour and water. Flour and water is what people use to put the wallpaper up with. They used to have a bit of a problem with uh, mice and long tails and like little grubs. So you know that's why we're not going to put our wallpaper up with flour and water now but for something like this if you want to do something creative and it doesn't matter if it's going to last or not but flour and water can do it Failing in that bit of pva glue um pva glue is fabulous for all sorts of um, applications so it's a few things i want to, to show you now you've got that now what well what are you going to do with that <laughs> well <laughs> here's what i did bear earlier so we've got an egg carton now in the egg carton, um, I've got the actual paper bag um, envelope that, you know, the tea bag came out of. You know, fold it under at the bottom, put your tea, mix it, I would mix it with compost to be honest. Um, put some in there um, and you can see, you don't have to go and get loads of plastic trays to see up. You've got that, keep that in your egg carton. You can go straight in your egg carton. There you go you seeing this on the uh, on the video it's very tricky in the sunshine and um the ipad's way away well away from me so i can't actually see so there we go see so you can just use the egg carton or eggshells save your eggshells and that's it once you get things have a play around get some tomato seeds stick them in see what you can grow just make sure you water them put them on a sunny window so just water them all the time and see which ones uh, comes out best get the kids involved in this they will love it do it as a bit of a science experiment which one's going to be better you know so and have a competition so there we go we've got an egg carton eggshells and everything's been used nothing's going into uh, the landfill or the incinerator so there's a bit of planting now this is the other thing you can do oh now then you see again flour and water or let's get 
bit of glue in here. <gasps> Tea leaves, love it. Put that over there. Now I know I have not put the lid on that properly and all kinds of things are going to go wrong in a minute. I know this. <laughs> so a little drop of water, not too much. So you see, if I was on my own and you were watching, I'd get my fingers in there and get really mucky, but you know, that's just me. I might get my hands dirty with glue. Oh, look at that. Now then, this actually, you've, you've got a medium here that you can do all sorts with, that you can, you can create something, roll it up. Now, to make it stronger, you can have, you know, some shredded paper, all sorts of things. I don't quite know what I'm doing with this, I'm just uh, playing about, but what you can do, you can make structures, make shapes, make 3D structures. This will this will harden quite well with the PVA. So I'm working on a piece of plastic. Now this plastic, <laughs> this board, I phoned one of the local estate agents. Uh, I think it was how many homes last year and they said have you got any of those old signs that you have outside she said yeah we've got loads out the back so I said can I have them so I went round I didn't read a course they're outside they've got holes all the way through them they had slugs they had spiders they had all sorts of books so we had to put them in a big um, bathtub of um, vinegar and get rid of all the, the nasties uh, I mean they were all dead nasties I mean you know I'm not really into doing anything horrible to the grubs that keep our world safe but then I cut it up and, and it's brilliant because again this would just be wasted and this is a resource I use all the time so again it's wonderful stuff think about it. you don't have to throw anything away really I'm going to do like a, a coil with this this was just a secondary thing really because it is the actual working with with the um the card that I want to show you no, I'm not. I'm going to do a heart instead. There we go. Let's do a heart instead. You see, in these videos, what you'll find is always something that I decide to do that I don't think through at all. <laughs> and what you're seeing is live. My, my thought process live. It's not always a good thing. Right, let's have a look. Let's do a heart. And, we'll, and what I'll do, I'll play about with this when it's all dry. I'll post it on the Facebook page. You to either fall about laughing at, which it can happen, or you can go, oh, you know what, I'll never go back to think about myself. Right, so just take your time with this. I mean, I'm rushing this. See how messy my hands are, it's great. But it's nothing harmful, it's just tea. It's just tea. Oh no, this is reminding me of something and there's something else I might want to do with you. Uh, I've got a wooden, um, I use these wooden knives in my kits that I make because um, they're biodegradable, obviously. And uh, when you're finished with them, you can clean them up and you can write, um, you know, your plants on, use them as plant sticks, they're great for that sort of thing. Right, so we've got a bit of a shape there going on. Um, I'll put that to one side. Now, the beauty of this, because it's tea and there's nothing nasty, it doesn't matter if it gets everywhere. Let's get some water in here. And uh, the tea, tea towels are great because it's just wash. You know, it's uh, you don't need to use a load of um, kitchen roll. It's one of those things where I'm trying to keep the wind, <laughs> the wind from blowing everything away. It's impossible. Right, clean my hands up. There we go. That's a bit better. Right. Okay. So I've got my cards here. These these cards have blown all over the place today. Honestly, it's been an absolute nightmare this morning with the wind. But who doesn't want to work outside on a day like this? It's beautiful. Right, so what I've done, I've actually got, you can see here, I've got a card and I've just stuck, oops, there's one of the, uh, the paper I've got to do something else with. I've just stuck this on with um, some PVA or pretty stick. No, glue stick, these are good. Like I say, if you've not got any of those, just use uh, flour and water and that'll stick it on. 
um, and this was one of the bigger ones that I used. This was uh, one of the envelope tea bags, quite a large one, and that's covered uh, a C6 card. Um, I think these would look really nice, as I was playing about with these before. I mean, it's years since I've done this with the tea bags. Um, and I'm thinking, right, I need to do a load of samples, which I haven't had the time to do yet, but I will put some on. But I want to see what you come up with. You're going to come up with some incredible things. You know, I'm just the catalyst, you know. Um, Jill Hayes was the catalyst for me. I'm the catalyst for you. You're going to come up with some amazing things. But I'm just going to show you how to do a very, very simple um, card. So this was just glued on. You don't really need to see me glue on a piece of paper. I'm hoping because I can't find a little circle. Now oh, where is this? Here it is. There we are. So that's that one. A piece of card here. As you can say, I'm struggling a bit because I'm not at the studio <laughs> because I'm working from home, working in the garden where it's windy. My my garden studio behind me is not so um, not so big. Not got the room to do. A decent video so at least the weather's nice out here so with a glue stick or you can use pva what i tend to find is if you actually work on put some glue all you want it all over now you can either glue the whole tea bag or you can tear half of it off which i think Put that in the middle there. I might do that with this. I'm going to tear this top half off. Should have done that before I glued it. Never mind. Never mind. I do this deliberately to show you that if you make this mistake, it's fine. <laughs> there we are. Pop that under there. These are going to be great to do decoupage with as well. Um, so just get loads of paper. It's amazing. I mean, there's some stunning pieces. Right, so just make sure that's nice and flat. Let that dry in the sunshine. Like that one. Ta-da. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do here, um, like I say, if you've got paints, if you've got pens, if you've got outliners for silk painting or glass, anything like that, you can use these to make some really elaborate, beautiful things. This particular video is just about if you've got nothing in but a jar of coffee and a tub of tea. Um, oh, go away, wasp, Bobby. <laughs> uh, so I've actually got some coffee, instant coffee made up here. There's a bit of that weak tea in there. This is where all this is all gonna get, all the cards are gonna get full, isn't it? Um, and I'm just gonna do a very simple card now you could do this and you might want you know we've got loads of people doing wonderful things at the moment you know the posters and the delivery guys they're coming out every day they're going to different houses you know i mean they're putting their safety at risk give a thank you card <laughs> do you know what i mean give a thank you card put it in an envelope leave it for a couple of days and uh, you know like with gloves or whatever you know make sure you wash your hands give them a card it'll brighten the day up you know, with the person that's doing your shopping for you, uh, the guys at the, the co-op or the local shop, you know, the, everybody, there's so many people doing some wonderful things and truly, truly out of the goodness of the heart. And this is where I think, um, you know, all the positive stuff's come in. So what they're giving out, they will receive back. And if that's a card made with a tea bag, well, so be it. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you um, that this, again, could go all kinds of wrong. Mm. You can do a pattern. You can do anything you like. Now, this this is a lovely cup uh, that my um, my friend um, bought my husband and myself when we went um, for our anniversary treat to Venice a few years ago. It's got a dirty great big chip in it, but I am not going to throw it away. I'm going to mosaic it one day, but for now, it's... Uh, it's for cleaning my brush. Right, so I've got my tea towel on my lap. Um, I might have to shut up for this just a moment. So I'm just going to do a very little thin line. Now, for those of you that are familiar with Port Erin, or I know Port Erin is actually what the locals call it, you might recognise this. So you want to get a darker, now a little bit of um, wheat tea at the bottom. It doesn't have to be amazing, you know, just 
play about you can take your time with this you can spend as much time as you like and you can actually go over onto the um card itself you don't have to just keep on the tea bag it's up to you okay so clean my brush always oh, i'd rather sit my brushes upside down and ruin the end rather than ruin the bristles because otherwise you know they're, they're too expensive aren't they so hopefully you'll see we've got a card there that's got milner's tower a quick impression of milner's tower um and if your handwriting is pretty cool and of course i've lost the one i wanted to show you where is it <laughs> Oh, here we go. You could put something on for the grandkids or you know your family. I'd brad it with you. So cheese it. I know cheese. I'm so sorry. I like a bit of cheese. <laughs> so here we've got a little bit of uh, fun, a bit of tea bag out. We, you know, with some like I'd play about with some tea bags. Um, we've used them all up. They've not gone in the compost bin. That's fine if they're going to go in the compost bin. But if you are having tea after tea after tea, you've got more tea bags than you know what to do with, have a play about with them. So thank you for watching. Um, like I say, get on um, my Instagram and Facebook page. Tell me what you want to see. If you're going, Debbie, don't give us any more of them rubbish demonstrations. Or you could be saying, do you know what? I've got something that I wouldn't, you know, I don't know what to do with. I don't want to bin it. But can you come up with something that we can create with? Right. So thank you very much. Signing off. And I'll see you again. Bye.